scientists cannot explain the appearance of four very bright rings around the sun in Canada. Currently, science is considering it's considered as a faith or religion. What cannot be explained does not exist. But thanks to the internet, we have photos, images, videos of strange phenomena that are inexplicable. And when these viral publications appear, that's when scientists come up offering explanations that sometimes are a little more than absurd. But much of the society believes that these explanations without thinking at the time otherwise, as it says, the very scientific community rings around the sun. But the reality is that while we constantly learn about how our world works, we find phenomena that are beyond our comprehension. From the strange gelatin that falls from the sky to inexplicable sounds heard in remote parts of the world, the strange sounds are just some of the anomalies that continue without explanation. And this has been the case of an image published lately, which clearly shows strange rings very bright around the sun. And this strange phenomena happened in Canada. The inhabitants of Mano Manitoulin Island in Canada enjoyed the stunning sunset, but a Canadian woman named Christine McNaught saw something out of the ordinary and decided to take some photographs of the sun. And in the images, you can see the sun surrounded by four reddish rings while illuminating the sky of the whole area. Since it was something she had never seen before, she decided to post a snapshot on the Twitter account so that someone could offer an explanation about the rings around the sun. And she tweeted, guys, take a look at the sunset. She wrote, and describing that uh, the description that accompanied the images, what McNaught did not expect is that the image would, would uh, be viral on social networks, much less than both ufologists and conspiracy theorists will offer their own theories and explanations. The popular independent investigator Scott C. Waring explained that the strange phenomena could be possible due to several factors, mainly by extraterrestrials that cause the energy source in the lake. Warning, uh, wearing, uh, warning uh, added that it could be a gigantic UFO hidden underwater during sunset. He also ruled out the possibility of the Aurora Borealis, Northern Lights, since it's not a common phenomenon in the area. And it was based on the fact, although Manitoulin Island is located north in Ontario, the sun does not rise in the north, remembering that the Great Lakes are located to the west of the island. Remember, the sun sets in the west, not the north, so it discarded the northern lights. Also, this is what Waring explained, also since the Great Lakes are to the west, I would say that this was caused by an excessive abundance of energy on the lake in that area. It's known that atomic bombs have been lost in those lakes, but if this has not been seen in other areas, then it could not be an atomic bomb of the Second World War. It could float like a huge UFO coming out of the bottom of a big lake. This UFO would have to be driven by an enormous amount of energy and would be forced to remain motionless there until after sunset when it's safe to fly under the mantle of the darkness. It sounds defiant as evidence of an underwater alien base in that direction at the bottom of the lake. Another explanation is that it's evidence of Planet X, also known as Nibiru, is, uh, could be heading towards our Earth. And according to experts in the field, Planet X, which is 10 times bigger than Earth, orbits the Sun every 3,600 years. And then right now, it would be close to our planet, being visible from some places, supposedly. So on this occasion, scientists have been baffled by the strange phenomena. And although they have not found a logical, rational explanation, they have suggestion, suggested that the rings are probably sun halos, which are created by thin cirrus clouds, according to the scientific web portal EarthSky. These clouds contain millions of tiny ice crystals. The halos that are seen are caused by both a refraction, as by the division of light, and also by reflection, or flashes of light from these ice crystals. The crystals have to be oriented and positioned exactly with respect to the eye so that the halo appears like rings around the sun. And that is why, like the rainbow, the halos around the sun or the moon are personal. Everyone sees their own particular halo formed by their own particular ice crystals, which are different from the crystals that make up 
the halo of the person next to them. Because the moonlight is not very bright, the lunar halos are mostly colorless, but it may look more red on the inside and more blue on the outside of the halo, and these colors are more considerable in halos around the sun. The explanation would be valid unless the image of Christine McNaughton is nothing special. She captured what was happening at that moment. For whatever it was, she was very present at that moment. So is it a UFO under the lake, evidence of the arrival of Nibiru? Do you have another explanation? This is on Infinity Explorers by Anj Srivastava. Please leave your comments and thank you for your support. Kindly support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box.